Hey guys, Andy here, and welcome to a very special episode of Andy Talks Japandi. I have some very exciting news to share with y'all, so stay tuned. So yeah guys, uh, we out here at the post office. Just got done sending in some stuff that sold on eBay. Uh, feeling really good about that, getting some stuff out there, making a little bit of, little bit of extra change and whatnot. Let's get on with the big news. And this is major news. So, if you guys watched my previous video that I sent out like literally yesterday, <laughs> celebrating my four years being out of the US Navy. In that video, I talked about mostly my return to Japan and just how the gears are gonna start turning very soon. Well, clank clank motherfucker, them gears is turning. I'm proud to say that I finally have the funds to go out to Japan. Today also bought a laptop, camera, and even a phone. And they're all used, so I was able to get a pretty good deal on them. So I even went under budget as far as that goes. So. I'm feeling even better about that. And I have a pretty sizable nest egg to, uh, to last me until the GI Bill kicks in once I get out to Japan. I'm just so over the moon. You guys, this has been four years in the making and I'm actually seeing some progress. I just, I, I feel like my heart's gonna leap out of my chest. I'm so fucking excited about all this. And, uh, I'm sure you guys are probably wondering, well, Andy, where'd you get all the money for that? Like, did like what happened? Did you find a <laughs> find a suitcase full of like five thousand dollars or something like that? That's not the case. Literally, it's not the case. But uh, no, nah, what actually happened? And I do want to put a disclaimer out here. So if anybody else is thinking about doing what I'm doing, I would highly discourage doing it. Um, what I did. Um, was definitely kind of a, a last resort sort of thing and you know I ended up losing a lot of money for it but I gained a lot of money too so just keep that in mind I know I'm gonna get a lot of flack in the comments for it but for the sake of transparency I do want to let you guys know how I was able to get that money and it was it was totally legit it wasn't anything legal so you don't have to worry about that kind of shit but basically I cashed out my retirement fund. And like I said, I know I'm gonna get some flack in the comments for that, but yeah, I did a, an early withdrawal for the majority of my retirement fund. The funds got dispersed to my account today, so that's why I was able to you know, buy all that stuff. I'm really fucking excited, man. Like, the camera's shaking because my hand's fucking shaking because I'm so fucking pumped about everything. Again, I just want to emphasize that I don't recommend everybody doing this or anybody else really doing this because um, if you're under 59 and a half, in, in my case, you do get penalized for doing early withdrawals. So you really have to keep that in mind. And I ended up losing a lot of my savings because I did an early withdrawal. Yeah, it's, de it's definitely not something I would recommend. But it was an option available to me and I wanted to, for sure, give Japan a shot. I didn't want to go in there half-ass it and be like, well, you know, if I just would have stuck it out a little bit longer, if I just would have worked a little bit harder, or if this would have happened, then I would have got to stay in Japan. You know, like, I want to make absolutely sure that I'm doing literally everything I can to get my ass out to Japan and to make it out there. And... You know, what can I say? I gotta put a little skin in the game. You know what I'm saying? So, it is what it is. Again, I don't recommend going the route that I did in order to do it. But, for the sake of transparency, that's what I did. And, uh, I'm not gonna go over dollar amounts, but it was enough. So, we'll just leave it at that. But, now, let's get back to the fun stuff. I'm just so fucking excited to finally make some headway in my return to Japan. Um, since I first applied to universities out in Tokyo and got rejected because my GPA was 
solo. I've done so much to remedy that. Um, just this past semester, I've raised my GPA from well below a 2.0. I don't even know what it was. It was probably like a one point something, if that. <laughs> raised my GPA up to a 3.0 now. And the way this semester is going, we're on our way to at least a 3.5. So I'm feeling very bullish about that. And in addition to that, we're gonna be continuing to save up for my return to Japan because even though I got a pretty sizable nest egg, it doesn't hurt to have a little extra cash. So that's why I'm gonna be selling pretty much all my stuff on eBay and elsewhere. And that's to not only save up for Japan, but it's also to just lighten the load because like, I really don't need a whole lot in going out to Japan. Like really just need like clothes, laptop, camera, phone, and a few other little things. And that's about it really. Like <laughs> you don't need a whole lot to study abroad. And it's probably best that you like minimize or minimize what you take your luggage out there. The next step, in addition to maintaining an exceeding GPA and saving up even more for my return to Japan, is to apply to universities out in Japan. The thing is, I did get rejected from the university I wanted to go to. The way things are going, schedule-wise, ideally, if I'm able to get in, get my application in before the end of this month, and if I get accepted, then the earliest that I could be in the country is before the end of this year. And I'll be starting up school beginning of 2020. Ooh. But if that doesn't pan out, then next thing I could apply for is for summer class. And that starts at the end of May 2020. If it happens, it happens. But, uh, you know, if I got to wait a little bit longer, that's fine. I've waited four years for this moment, so what's another couple months, right? And it'll give me more time to save up and all that stuff too. But I do want to push to uh, come this spring, or technically winter, but semantics. Sent out a message to uh, one of the schools out there, so I gotta see if I have to just completely start over my application, or if I just need to send in updated information and things like that, and we can go from there. And I want to thank you guys so much for sticking with me through these really hard times. As a lot of times I didn't think that I'd make it, that Japan was just a fantasy, you know, that I would have to give up and work in a factory somewhere in Ohio, and that'd be my life. But you guys have helped get me through those hard times. And see me through to the good times that are ahead and uh, I just want to thank you guys for all the support and with that said before my phone overheats we're gonna sign off here so yeah with that said this is the Andy San signing for now and as always see you next time catch you later guys bye